Hello everybody, in this video I'll be covering another Vedic Mathematics tutorial. This time we'll be looking at simultaneous equations. So let's just look at a simple example. 2x plus 3y equals to 8. 4x plus 5y equals 14. Now we all know this simple uh, methods for simultaneous equations which involve either substituting or cancelling out but in this one in this video obviously I'm going to show you a quicker method a Vedic mathematics one line method as it's called um, so let's let me just break down the simultaneous equation uh, referring to its coefficients which is 2 3 8 4 5 14 something like that so a plus B equals C D plus e sorry d plus e equals f and relating it back to this equation in this case a equals 2 b equals 3 c equals 8 d equals 4 e equals 5 and f equals 14 now in Vedic maths, to find the x value, we we would do something like this. B times F minus um minus E times C over B times D minus A times E. So we can just substitute that in if we wanted to very simply. So 3 times 14 minus 5 times 8 over 3 times 4 minus 5 times 2. So that would give us 42 minus 40 is 2. 12 minus 10 is 2. So x is equal to 1. And for y, we only re we only really need to solve the uh, the the numerator because we already have the denominator from the from the x value. So the de denominator found in the sorry the de denominator found in the x values x value stays the same for the y value. So let's continue on. As for y, the equation or the the way it's solved goes something like this. C times c times d minus a times f and then of obviously over 2 because we, we keep this the same as the other one as the denominator found in x so then that would give us c is 8 times 4 minus a times f 2 times 14 which would give us 32 minus 28 which is 4 over 2 therefore y is equal to 2 <coughs> as you can see this method is quite simple and just to explain it to you guys I used I used um, the a b c d e and, e, e and f so it's easier to understand but let, let's look at some more examples. Um, so, x minus y equals 7. 5x plus 2y equals 42. So, here again, we use our equation that, that we had before b times f minus e times c over b times d minus a e times a or a times e doesn't really matter and that would give us let me just write again once again the values
Okay, A is 1, B is minus 1, C is 7, D is 5. I just write that in the nature. E is 2, and F is 42. Okay, so um, minus 1 times 42, minus 2 times 7. over minus 1 times 5 minus 1 times 42 oh sorry not not 42 1 times 2 so what would that give us that would give us minus 56 over minus 7 which would give us 8 so our x value is equal to 8 and keeping the denominator the same for y, we use the e we use again the equation for y. The equation for y is c times d minus a times f or f times a over minus seven. So that would give us seven times five minus 42 times 1 over minus 7 and over here we get minus uh, 35 minus 42 which is minus 7 over minus 7 which gives us y is equal to 1 so we get our we get our x and y values as you can see this method is very very easy but just to make just to um show you a little bit more I'm going to make some more space and solve one last question let me just make some space okay so looking at our next question 2x 2x plus y equals to 5 3x minus 4y is equal to 2. Once again, let's just write our, our first our coefficients. a is 2, b is 1, c is 5, d is 3, e is minus 4, negative 4, guys, and f is 2. Okay. And keeping our x equation we do um, we do the same thing as we did before which is looking at this um, b times f minus e times c over b times d minus a times e so once again we just need to solve this um, 1 times 2 minus minus 4 times 5 over 1 times 3 minus 2 times minus 4. Okay, so then 2, um, 2 minus minus 20, which is going to give us minus 18. Oh, sorry, that would give us 22, not minus. So, sorry guys, let me just write this again. So, 2 minus minus 20 over 3 minus minus 8. That's going to give us 22 over 11. Therefore, x is equal to 2. And as for y, we would use the same equation. Let me make more space. Okay. So y is equal to um, c times d minus a times f over 11. 
So then that would give us C is 5 times 3 minus 2 times 2 over 11. That gives us 11 over 11. Therefore, y is equal to 1. As you can see, we got our x and we got our y value. And these, this is not at all that hard. Um, you may have to look at this uh, a couple more times in my steps and what I did. But after practice, this becomes very, very easy. So before I end this video, I'm just going to write some problems that can be solved at home, which are easy. So 5x minus 3y equals 11. Um, 6x minus 5y equals 9. And this is one question. And another question can be eleven x plus six y equals to twenty eight. Seven x minus four y equals ten. Okay, that's all in this video, and um, uh, that's over in this. Uh, uh, video tutorial series for Vedic Maths. Um, you can check all of these videos on the website and exercises and solutions as well. Thank you and bye.